Hi there, my name is Rick Braddy with RoyalFlushClub.com. I would like to share with you an exclusive interview that I did recently with poker pros Brian Mikon and Brett Youngblood, also known as Gank. Together, these two pros have already earned over $500,000 here partway through the year. I think you'll find what they have to say extremely interested. Uh, to get the full interviews, and there's actually about an hour and a half worth of full interviews, go to www.mycontalks.com. Have fun. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the call here today. I'm pleased to be here today with uh, Mr. Brian Mycon and Brett the Gank. Jung Brett, how do you say your last name? Jungblood? Uh, Youngblood or Jungblood, either or. Great. Well, guys, I really appreciate you taking the time here to uh, visit with us today. And, uh, you know, I've got a lot of folks on the line here who I'm sure will really be interested in what, what we have to say here. This is uh, this talk is going to actually be um, recorded and available at mycontalks.com. A way of introduction, so you guys could each just you know say a little bit about yourself. You know, my name is Rick Brady, and I'm the uh, founder of uh, RoyalFlushClub.com, and you know we have a few products: uh, Poker Sidekick and uh, Secrets of Winning Sit and Go Tournaments, things like that, and, and a new site called PokerTester.com, where people can go take a, a free poker skills test and that sort of thing. So you guys are out there in the real world on the pro circuit, and uh, Brian, why don't you say a few words and just uh, you know kind of what you're up to and you know how how things are going for you out there. Well, as uh, some of you may know, um, I'm Brian Mikon, and um, if you've seen me on the ESPN, you'll know me as Brian the Icon Mikon, and um, well, well, not the best uh, <laughs> nickname in the world, but um, I'm out I'm out in Vegas now. Just recently moved out here to get more action, basically from Atlanta, and uh, I've actually been spending a lot of time with uh, with my friend uh, Gank here, and we've been burning up the internet tournaments, uh, we've been running around Vegas uh, playing live, you know, during the, of course, the World Series, which just ended. I, I personally had a bad World Series, I went, I went 0 for 9 events, no day, no day twos, nothing in the main event, um, but you will see me in a, in a couple of, on TV a couple of times, at, at a final table, I'm in the audience for uh, my friend Brett Ritchie's final table. And uh, I, actually, Gank and I, Gank, you know, you remember when you and I, how you and I started the main event? Uh, yeah, Gank and uh, Mycon and I were at the same table to start uh, the main event, which was um, pretty crazy. <laughs> which but, is uh, a bad table job, by the way, in that tournament. But, you know, I've been, I've been doing good. I mean, I've been, I've been out here. We've, uh, you know, just out here and doing it, just, you know, not, uh, haven't, haven't had a job since one. And uh, you know, loving every minute of it, basically. Wow, it sounds like fun. So, um, so Gank, I noticed uh, just doing a little research on the web about you. You, uh, you're a Omaha high low guy as well. Is that right? Yeah, in 2004, I won uh, a World Series of Poker bracelet in Omaha high low, uh, the 5K buy-in World Championship event, and uh, have also had uh, 10 or 11 other caches in the World Series since then. Wow. Um, right. So that yeah, that's just since 2004. I've um, I'm known uh, pretty well online uh, as Gank and uh, have made a name for myself as well in, in live circuit. A lot of people might know me as being part of the crew that was featured on ESPN. Um, and uh, you know, I, I just play a lot of online. I play a, lot, uh, a good amount of live events, though I haven't played that much live this year. But I did play a handful of World Series events. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, and so th this is what I do. Uh, I was named um, after Brett Maverick from the TV show back in the 70s. I grew up with my father playing poker all the time. So, Wow, it's must uh, be a, it must be a cool life to be a poker pro. I mean, a lot of us just dream of uh, that sort of thing. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely one of those things. Um, it, the, the best quote I ever heard was, I think it was from Jack Strauss, or it might have been from... Stu Unger, but it was poker's, you know, a, a tough way to make an easy living. You know, it's it, it, it really you you have to have your heart into it, and you really want to, you know, you have to you have to commit yourself, you know. But it, there's there's definite ways to beat the game of poker, and we definitely can show you those ways. Yeah, fantastic. Well, guys, I know we've got this. Uh, are, are you guys are working on a a, a product that's uh, actually going to be announced here and released here in, in the in the coming week? It's uh, Pretty interesting sounding. I, I saw a, a kind of a sneak preview of it um, just a, a couple of days ago. I was pretty impressed. And 
So, you know, tell me a little bit about what you what you guys were up to, and you know, what's what's what this product is all about. Well, um, I've, I don't know. If, I'm sure some of you have seen the Micon system and uh, the very successful Micon system two. Full disclosure that came out. And uh, basically, this time around, um, I've just like I said, I've been spending a lot of time with, uh, and we've been trying to help each other's game, um, Brett and I. You know, just because even pros and everything, we're always trying to improve. Yep. You never, you can never stop learning in this game. Yeah, the, and, the, game, the game of poker evolves itself, which is interesting. But this, this man has been thinking very deeply about. I, I basically chose Gank not only for my personal like, I mean, to like, you know. To, to hang out with and basically talk about poker with, but for this for the new um, product, he has been around the game just about as long as anybody, and he's gonna he has what he's been doing recently has been videotaping himself um, playing online, so we're gonna get him to videotape hours and hours of his play, so you just see his whole cards and then you let you get to hear him talking about what he's thinking during while he's making all these plays. Wow, you can do cash great. games, tournaments. It's going to be amazing. That is incredible. Yeah. I know a lot of people are interested in tournaments, but a number of my subscribers have also expressed a real interest in cash games, so I'm sure they'll find that extremely helpful. What are you yeah, going to do? You're going to do what, what was your schedule for the recordings? Yeah, we're going to we're going to cover uh tournaments, we're going to cover sit and goes. Uh Mikeon and I did a little heads up sit and go we recorded yesterday. Uh, and we're all, I'm also going to be covering cash games. Some of the the lower limit two four three six uh, no limit cash games maybe some five ten and uh, just to let the the listeners know uh, as with any product what you what you learn from is really matters who you're learning from and just so you know I've I've been playing online for about eight years now since it first started taking off in ninety seven and uh, have won over a hundred multi table tournaments online I just recently won the three hundred and twenty no limit Poker Stars tournament last Saturday for twenty one thousand. Um, this is what I do. Uh, this is all I do, and I'm going to try to show you how to do it. So, I can't wait. This is, this is very exciting. Well, guys, uh, you know, I I, uh, I asked my subscribers to send me a few questions on things that they're struggling with, things that are on their mind. Uh, you know, some things that you might be able to answer some questions for us on. I'm sure you can. Um, Go ahead. So, I have a few questions. So, so one of them is, uh, you know. What what do you do when your your card dead? I mean, I'm sure it happens to everybody. It's you know where you're just sitting there and you just can't seem to get any kind of a decent hand. And you know if you're playing tight, you fold. So what do you do? You guys just sit there and play tight, or how do, how do you how do you handle that situation? I'm sure it must happen to you a lot. I guess I guess I'll I'll start and Yank. You can definitely just just pop in when um you know okay. when you have something to add to it. But I mean. A part of the game is like you know you're you're trying to especially in tournaments too when you go card dead since you have in in cash games you basically have an unlimited amount of time i mean it's the it's the same blinds forever in like in a tournament they're constantly going up so if you if you become card dead i mean it does force you to make a you know to put chips in when you other common sense would usually dictate not to but if you you know right. it's the the old catch twenty two you know if you if you keep folding you keep getting blinded. So that's when moves come in. That's when you have to sometimes push from the big blind with ace four. You know, when you get raised from late position, the guy could be on a steal. You know, you have to you know try to try to find the best information, try to pick the best spot. But you know, you do. There is a little bit of gamble in that. You got to yeah, push. And, you got to gamble. And you're definitely going to see this in the videos that I, I'm producing, um, especially you know the sit and goes and the multi table tournaments. How I go from playing extremely tight, you know, like very very um, meticulous play and very, you know, pointed play in the beginning, very much like a cash game would be, to almost what seems like reckless play or, you know, what could could be um, looked at by, you know, pure novices and just looks like crazy play, like this guy could never possibly be winning. But really, I'll, I'll explain to you all the thought processes behind the, the that kind of stuff, and it really, it really is about adjusting to the game as the game progresses. You know, the blinds, the players, the chip sizes, and just really having a, an understanding and grasp of what everything means and and how it affects you and how you can affect it. So that's really um, what I'm going to try to explain in the videos. Remember, 
to get the full length, about an hour and a half worth of full interview content, be sure to visit mycontalks.com. This video was sponsored by pokertester.com.